It is one of history's supreme ironies that the Jewish state of Israel, created just after World War II, was forced in the beginning to rely on the weapons of Nazi Germany for its survival, the Nazi Germany that had tried so hard to wipe the Jews from the face of the earth. But facing a new set of opponents equally committed to destroying Israel, the new nation had to set aside politics in favour of practical expediency and use Hitler's weapons to remain free. The one weapon above all that the Israelis came to rely upon heavily in the early years of their nation was the iconic World War II German battle rifle, the Mauser Karabiner 98K, first adopted by Hitler's army in 1935. A five-shot, bolt-action rifle chambered in the 7.92 by 57mm Mauser cartridge. It was manufactured in huge numbers. Between 1935 and 1945, some 14.6 million were built. Many countries used the type post-war because so many were floating around, including Norway and Vietnam. But one of the main users was, surprisingly, the new state of Israel. Contrary to popular myth, the Israelis did not denazify the 98Ks, and surviving Israeli Defense Force examples retained their original Third Reich proof stamps, including Nazi eagle marks. Through its clandestine contacts throughout the world, the Israelis gained access to some of the millions of ex-World War II small arms then in circulation, and the earlier Haganah organization that fought the British in Palestine for independence contained large numbers of soldiers who had previously served in the British armed forces during the war, or in a number of other armies, including the French and US armies. The Haganah and early IDF used quite a bit of World War II-era British weaponry, notably the Lee-Enfield series of bolt-action rifles. But in one of history's biggest arms smuggling operations, codenamed Balak, Czechoslovakia, itself a heavy user of World War II-era German equipment, signed a contract with the Israelis to allow them to purchase 4,500 reconditioned Mauser 98Ks and 200 ex-German MG-34 machine guns, plus 50.4 million rounds of ammunition. This was in January 1948, and those weapons were brought into Palestine, 200 rifles, 40 MG-34s, and some of the ammunition by plane on the night of the 31st of March 1948, and the remainder of the Czech order aboard a merchant ship, payment being made through banks in New York, London, and Prague. An arms embargo to the Middle East was in place at this time, so it was extremely difficult for Jewish Zionist organizations, and later for the Israeli state, to actually import any weapons or vehicles. After Israeli independence on the 14th of May 1948, further shipments of Czech Mauser 98Ks were made, until by October 1948 Israel had received some 34,000 ex-German rifles or Czech post-war manufactured variants. Israel subsequently bought more ex-German 98Ks from Sweden, which had itself bought 5,000 from the Nazis in 1939, designating them the M40 in Swedish service. The M40s had been rechambered in a larger calibre, causing painful recoil to users, and the Israelis assigned them to reserve units. Israel also obtained 98Ks from the Empire of Ethiopia in the late 1940s. The Ethiopian rifles were an FN commercial design designated the M30. On the top of the receiver, Emperor Haile Selassie's royal crest was stamped and left intact by the Israeli Defense Force. Israel also purchased some 98Ks directly from Belgium. The FN rifles were new weapons and chambered for 7.62mm NATO. These rifles had the IDF badge on the receiver. They were built in 1952 and delivered to Israel throughout the 1950s. Israeli troops ended up using Mauser 98Ks and MG34s whilst using US or British steel helmets and British webbing. Interestingly, the 98K remained in service for a very long time, including seeing service in the 1967 Six-Day War, supplementing the Uzi submachine gun and the FN-FAL rifle, using them in action against Arab forces who were armed with AK-47s and SKS rifles. The 98K in Israeli service dragged on to the 1973 Yom Kippur War, the IDF's main weapons by this time were the Galil assault rifle and the FN-FAL. 
the 98K is being used by reserve units only, although some were used as sniper rifles by frontline infantry units. Israeli 98Ks ended up being exported once again, this time to Guatemala. It was a thank you to Guatemala for being one of the nations that voted to admit Israel to the United Nations. Guatemala received the 98Ks in three large batches from the late 1950s to 1977, the latter to help Guatemala after the US slapped an arms embargo on the country. Israel also sent Guatemala modern galils to replace its aging M1 carbines. The 98Ks were used by reserve units. The last batch of World War II era ex Israeli 98Ks was sent in 1983. 12,000 rifles, probably the last stocks remaining in IDF warehouses in Israel. The Guatemalans phased the type out in the late 1990s, with many subsequently ending up sold to the US civilian market. So it is that a few 98Ks in America today were originally used by German soldiers in World War II, later captured by the Czechs, then sold to the Israelis who used them in action against various Arab countries, who then in turn sold them on to the Guatemalans, who used them until they in turn were taken out of service and sold onto the civilian market. Such travels are actually quite common for many types of World War II weaponry. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.